So we're back in the King Air. And uh, just as a comment, those that may have noticed that the prop RPM was set too high the last time, I figured out uh, how to uh, make it appear correctly on this video for some reason. On the replay, it didn't uh, want to show up correctly. So we're keeping our uh, inner turbine temperature and our prop RPM correct. And what we're going to do this time is to move over to the course so that when we overfly the NDB, we'll already be on the runway heading and uh, with uh, no need to make that turn as we did in part one. As we've mentioned in part one, the uh, technique used to change the direction of the ADF indicator is to pull the tail. And in this case, since we're still headed to the NDB, we will move to the left to pull the tail to the left because we want to move the, the head or the pointer to the right. We're currently uh, on about a 140 bearing and we want to be on a 155 bearing. We decided from the last time that the 156 bearing was just a little off. So we'll change our heading so that if you would imagine the airplane attached to the tail of the needle, it would be pulling it to the left. And by pulling the tail to the left, it will move the pointer or the head to the right. Here we are on the map, and you can see we're making our left turn. And we're going to end up so that we're lined up exactly on our final heading of 155 degrees as we overfly the NDB. So as we begin to approach the 155 bearing, the direction to the NDB, we'll start to turn gently. This is similar technique to that used with the VOR when you're uh, uh, needle starts to move or your segment of your needle starts to move you begin to uh, turn into your desired heading to slow the uh, to slow the movement down and so you can settle in exactly flying with an ADF is not quite as precise as the VOR each degree marking is fairly close together and so sometimes it's hard to know if you're exactly on the heading you want and we can see that the needle is pointing now very close to the 155 degree heading or the 155 degree bearing to the NDB and we'll uh, allow the aircraft to settle in and continue to the NDB on a 155 degree heading and since we're flying to the NDB this is also considered the 155 degree bearing to the NDB remember your position relative to an NDB is expressed as the bearing to versus a VOR, which is the radial from. And you can see we've uh, crossed to uh, a direct heading to the airport, 155 degrees, which will lead us directly over the NDB and directly on course straight into the runway. We can make small course corrections as needed. Remember, pull the tail. So if you want the ADF needle to move towards the left, you would turn towards the right to pull the tail towards the right. Or move if you wanted to move to the right, you move over to the left as we did initially to pull the tail to the left and move the pointer of the needle, the head of the needle arrow to the right. Here you see we're uh, pretty closely lined up. We can nudge it over just slightly to bring it back to uh, as exactly to 155 degrees as we can get it as we continue our descent on in to the uh, to the airport. And during this phase, uh, you typically you're busy doing other things, lowering flaps, lowering landing gear. You can see the airport up ahead just before it gets obscured by that rain shower. And we'll keep it on course here. Get set up as we uh, as we level out at 1500 feet. You can see that it's raining pretty hard right now. 
but we don't have to worry, we have the NDB to guide us in. So we'll maintain our heading 155 degrees. So we get bounced around here a little, just a little bit. Tiny corrections as needed. Remember, just like a VOR, when you're close to an NDB, small corrections can make big changes. Check that the gear is down, three greens, and right now, as you can see by the swing of the needle, we've just passed over the NDB. We'll maintain our course, and as we look forward, no turn needed. We've already lined ourselves up, and we're flying pretty much straight into the runway. small amount of correction to uh, get us perfectly lined up and we'll be ready for our final approach. A little look from the outside here you can see we're in pretty good shape. A little tiny movement to the right for that last little bit of alignment and we'll be down in a minute. I wanted to see what it would look like from the tower view. I'm not real happy with the way the clouds rendered here, but uh, it's an interesting view nonetheless. And we'll just watch the landing. And as we touch down, we get a nice look at that Elite Premier Virtual King Air 350, which is actually has some modified flight characteristics, uh, flies a little bit better than the stock FSX version, although it is based on the stock uh, or default FSX King Air 350. And you can see here that uh, after we made our turn and lined up, we pretty much have a straight line right into the airport. This is very similar to the technique that you would use on an NDB approach. You line yourself up on a bearing, uh, you overfly an NDB, you may have a procedure turn involved, but nonetheless it is a specific bearing that you would need to be on for an NDB approach. We'll cover uh, NDB and other non-precision approaches in other videos. So come and visit us at uh, ElitePremierVirtual.com. We have some uh, helpful information on our website. If you uh, sign up, you'll get access to it. You can also visit us at FS Open, uh, where you can find our server address and our uh, TeamSpeak address. The Elite Premier staff includes VATSIM certified air traffic controllers and folks that uh, are well versed in FMC programming, other aircraft system operations, and many aviation and navigation techniques.